Kelly, so today I'm going to be doing another journal flip through video with this puppy. You guys really seem to like when I do journal flip throughs, so I thought I might do another one. I feel like I completed two journals before this one and then half of a journal, but I don't think I'm going to do flip throughs for those journals because they're like kind of boring. This journal is supposed to be a bullet journal, but I didn't make it as a bullet journal because like the brand itself is a bullet journal, but I don't roll like that. So I just do my own thing with it. There's a lot more writing. I have gotten increasingly more personal with my journals. I write more now instead of doing more artsy journals, so yeah. But nonetheless, I hope you guys still enjoy. So this is my journal. It is Electrum. Uh, I don't know. It's like a German brand. It's a bullet journal type brand. So that's what it's used for. However, I don't use it as a bullet journal. I have this little cat sticker on the front and it's just black. So the first thing you see is my name and then the month and the year I started and began this journal. So I began this journal November 2017 to January 2018 when I ended this journal. And then at the bottom of the month and the year that I had this journal, I also wrote kind of what was going on, which was the fall semester of college freshman year to winter break and beginning of spring semester and then here this is for the bullet journal part of the purpose of this journal it is like a key which i don't use then i have seize the tuesday written on this page where it says tips because once again this is a bullet journal but i don't use it as that uh, so I just wrote over it. Then, uh, this is the index supposedly, but once again, I don't use a bullet journal, so I just do my own thing. And so with these pages, I just wrote like these little like notes and doodles of encouragement that I found on like Pinterest and stuff like that. So I like glued and taped them in there with like washi tape. And I have these as well. They're really cute. I just like them. And then where it says future log, once again, bullet journal stuff, I just did kind of sketches of calendars of the months ahead. I don't really use them, but I think it's just nice to have just in case. And finally, I have the day where I started this journal. So I have the day, year, month, etc. And then I also have recently played since I listen to a lot of music now that I feel like I have time to listen to a lot of music, especially in college. I just write what I'm recently listening to so I have an idea of like kind of what I'm listening to. <laughs> and then, so I just write down what happened. Uh, I do a lot of daily entries in this journal and in the journals that I'm working on now because now that I'm like in this time period in my life where so many things are happening there's a lot of things I want to remember so I do a lot of daily entries and I write a lot about my day so that's basically that and then also there's a lot of sticky notes because I cross out some information I don't want released on the internet once again this is my private journal then here uh, my roommate left me this which was really cute and I wanted to keep it then here these are some candy that I have this is from my roommate this is from one of my professors once again, crossing out more stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I do this a lot, but you know, it's my journal. Then November, this is kind of like an opening spread into what's going on in the month ahead. So here I have a November playlist of all the songs I've been really into in this particular month. And then I also have this quote from F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is some bullet journal aspects that I've taken and used for myself. So I have a habit tracker, which is basically like I write down some things that I just do every day or I want to do every day. Then I just record whether I did it or not by these little thingies. I found this on Pinterest. So I have stuff like whether I took my vitamins, whether I spent money that day, etc. Then I also have movies that I watched in the month of November. Then meal swipes, this is really for like college purposes because of my meal plan, so this helps me keep track of the meals that I'm using in the dining hall. Don't worry, I still eat the days that I don't use meal swipes. <laughs> and then this is my sleep log, it just keeps track of how many hours I sleep, about roughly. I think it's just really helpful to have this. And this is all the money that I've spent mainly using my debit card, just so I have a rough idea of how much money I spent. Yeah, yikes. <laughs> Then another daily spreads, some recently played, and then I always have like little doodles 
there. This is a quote from the book that I was reading in one of my classes. I just really liked it and I wanted to keep it. Here I had Starbucks, I got washi tape, more days. I don't journal every day, but I do little recaps of the days before. Just so once again I have the days to remember. And then this is from Dodie's Life Lesson. More daily spreads. Sorry if this is kind of boring. Okay, these are two postcards. So in one of the clubs that I am in, we have bigs and littles. And if you know anything about that, it's kind of like a sorority type thing where a younger person gets paired with an older person, kind of like a mentor of sorts. So we had big little reveal and these were like the note cards, uh, postcards that my big gave me. So I just kept it in there because they're really cute. So these pages are my most personal pages. I just kind of write whatever I want. These are different from daily entries in that they're mostly analyzing my feelings, talking about some things that are running through my mind at this certain time. So they're more messy and I, yeah, this is just really for me. <laughs> then Wednesday, November 15th, November 21st, <laughs> yep. This is probably a quote of song lyrics. Yeah, this, like the personal stuff that gets put into my journal. So this is just me outpouring my thoughts, honestly. This is a quote from E. Cummings. These are song lyrics from 17's Campfire. These are translated, of course. I like doing these because I like having songs to remember and I like looking back at them. I like keeping them with me in a place that I'll always have forever. So I do this a lot. I just write down song lyrics. So, And then this is kind of a cute page. This basically is kind of a poetic entry, but this is my hand and I trace it a bunch of times. I just talk about the intimacy of human contact. So. That's basically what this is all about. I really like the spread. Uh, then Wednesday, this is my plane ticket. I went home for Thanksgiving break. This is another personal entry, not that personal because I this is more vague ideas, but once again, it's just me talking about nostalgia and my friends and how I haven't seen them in a couple months, but it feels like I just saw them yesterday. My brother and I went to go see a movie. We went to see Wonder, which I loved. We also got a Christmas tree that day as well. And then I went back to Boston to finish out my fall semester. I tried to do more doodles. This cat, I believe, is from Kiki's Delivery Service. This is a fun spread. This is Oron High School Host Club themed. I was feeling nostalgic and I watched Oron, which is one of my favorite anime, and I just did some doodles about it. It's one of my more colorful stuff, and this is a quote from Oron. And then same thing here, more Oron themed stuff. And then this is just like kind of like an ode to November, closing out the month. Now December, my monthly playlist, an opening to the month my habit tracker, the movies I watched, uh, these are my sleep log, meal swipes, then December 1st, this is a Polaroid of one of my friends took of me, and this is when we went out and we kind of explored Boston, for me for the first time seeing Christmas lights in Boston, so that was really nice. I was getting sick, I get sick a lot in college, so here are cough drops. I went to go see a Celtics game with some of my friends, it was really fun, it was really cool. Then this is a quote from Wonder, one should be kinder than needed. Uh, once again, I was getting sick, so here's some tea. This is also another Wonder quote that I really, really liked. Someone gave me Dove chocolate, so this is the wrapper, and then I just doodled some flowers. This is kind of a december -y theme spread, and I have some polar bears, penguins, and igloo. Some crossed out stuff, yep, anyway. <laughs> This quote is from Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe, that I really, really liked. And some more doodles. I tried to be more colorful as this journal progressed. I have, this is from Panda Express. It was the chopstick wrapper thingy. Um, I got Basho. 
these are songs I love. Uh, even though I have Apple Music, I don't have enough storage to save all the songs that I really like. So I just keep it all in my journal so I can just go back and be like, wow, I really loved that song, Oh Little Girl by Produce 101. This is the Midnight Breakfast that my university does for first years. And it's just basically like a de-stressor thing before our first finals. <laughs> so this was really fun. I went with two of my friends. It was great. I had a good time. Then this is the beginning of the stress of finals. And then I just did this little list of things that make me happy. Then, okay, so these are like me crossing out personal information, but then this is from one of my teammates. We had Secret Santa, and so since I'm a nutrition major, everyone jokes about nutrition stuff to, to me. And so he basically gave me a bunch of lollipops, and he was like, enjoy the fruit, Madam Nutritionist. So I kept that. That was cute. This is from Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. And then this was like the last day for me for my fall semester. I had taken all my exams, so I was in a good mood. I journaled a lot. I went to Muji, which is where I get a lot of these colorful pens and stuff. I really like their stationery and everything. Um, so I just doodled a bunch. Um, I was very, very happy. <laughs> And then this is a Christmas card from my big, and it was really cute, so I kept it in here. And then once again, this is another quote from Turtles All the Way Down. This is me being home. I arrived home, so this was fun. Then this was kind of wrapping up the semester. I just wrote things I learned my first semester of college, and then I also have this little photograph that I took of the Charles River at the beginning of the semester that I put in here. Then December, yeah, I just doodled a lot. Of, I didn't really do much during the beginning of winter break, so the entries are kind of boring. I meant to color this in, but I didn't. This is really crappy drawings of like Phineas and Ferb and Perry the Platypus. And then, yeah, this was like Christmas time. I didn't do much, so I didn't feel the need to journal. And then I just wrote Merry Christmas. Then here are more movies, TV shows, and books I read in the month of December because I did so much. Yeah. Mm, more stuff. Some quotes. This is like from a song. I don't remember what song, but yeah. And this is from Barnes & Noble. Oh, I really like this spread. I saw The Greatest Showman with my brother, and then we went to Chick-fil-A. Then this Saturday, December 29th. Um, so this is my attempt at Hangul. I haven't practiced in so long, but these are the lyrics to Best of Me by BTS. Here are some Christmas cards I got from my extended family who live in like Australia. So kept them in here. These are like little screenshots of like stuff I found in like Tumblr and Twitter and stuff like that that I wanted to remember. So this is really cool. I just kind of wrapped up my year of 2017 in a nutshell. I talked about the month and then big highlights that happened in each month. For example, in May, I had my senior night for lacrosse and in August, I went to Lake Placid. 2017 was a big year for me, but it was really fun. And this is Goodbye 2017, a little spread. Some of my favorite photos from the year. And then I talked about my favorite songs of 2017, mostly K-pop songs, but, you know. And then Hello 2018. And then I have some New Year's goals and resolutions. Uh, they're more just like general things that I want to accomplish throughout the year. Then January. I have my monthly playlist as usual. And then my habit tracker per usual. Then the movies I watch, TV shows I watch. My meal swipes. Obviously for the beginning of the year I was still on break. So. <laughs> and then my sleep log. Then this begins my adventure starting January 1st. I went to Europe for 10 days. So this is from my cousin. She gave me a Christmas present while I got there. Then this was my plane ticket. We went to go to the Warner Brothers Studios in London for the making of Harry Potter and these were our tickets. This is a sketchy, <laughs> a terrible drawing of the Eiffel Tower. This is like a postcard that I got from one of the bookstores that we went to that advertised for John Green's novel, obviously. 
And then this is some of the tokens, some things that I had left over from Paris that I wanted to keep forever. So these are our train tickets. This is our tickets to go to the Eiffel Tower. These are our tickets to the Louvre. So that was really cool. And in the background are just some like paint swatches that I had. Then we went to the Arc de Triomphe. Um, we got coffee, I suppose, from this little doodle, some more train tickets. And then here I have my recently played. I, kind of, I like to switch it up each month. I also switch up how I do the headers each month. Uh, we went to Amsterdam as well. So I have little doodles. This quote is from the Fault in Our Stars because they go to Amsterdam, which is really cool. And I went to the exact same place where they were in Amsterdam. Then more doodles of Amsterdam, more quotes from the Fault in Our Stars. Uh, more stuff in Amsterdam. These are from the tram, tram tickets. I went to the Anne Frank Museum, um, or the Anne Frank House while I was in Amsterdam, so this is a quote from the museum that they had on display, and then I printed out a picture of Anne Frank. A lot of these pages, actually all of these pages I did after my trip, so that's why they look nice, despite talking about travel. <laughs> and then we went to Venice, and this is the Rialto Bridge. We had pizza, so this is my first meal in Venice. More Venice, more pizza, lasagna, more Venice stuff. This is the pass to go to the water taxi, and from a cafe. Oh, this is from the airport, I believe. And then these are tokens from Venice. I have a bunch of, like, when we went to the Palazzo Ducale, I believe, and just some receipts that I had in addition to a map of Venice in the back. So many people gave us a map of Venice, which was really cute. And then this is some leftover stuff that I had. This is, we went on a light festival cruise in Amsterdam. And then after a couple days, I went home. Then my brother and I went to go see Paddington. And then we went to Panera for lunch. I went back to Boston um, on January 15th. Uh, my parents and I went to go to a Chinese restaurant. So these are the fortunes. Yeah. I was in a weird mood, so I didn't write a lot. Uh, then Tuesday, this is still before classes started. I'm really proud of the sketch. This is of Umaru from uh, the anime Himotu Umaru-chan and some doodles, some quotes from the anime. Then once again, this is before classes started. This is from Blue Exorcist. This is the cat from Blue Exorcist. And then these are my spring semester goals that I have. And then this is of the old church in North End. Then Thursday, this is the first day of classes. I received mail from my friends, so this is why the red bubble sticker is here. January 19th, this was my birthday. So I talked about my birthday and yeah. Oh, my roommate got me flowers. Um, more talking about my birthday. I had a really good day on my birthday, so. And then the next day after my birthday, I went to a museum, or what we got. And then here, Wednesday, some more doodles. I messed up here, yikes. Thursday, Friday, these are from like flowers. <laughs> um, and then this Saturday, I had a meeting thing, so we had name tags, so this is my name tag. A whale drawing, crossing out a lot of personal information. And then, hello sunshine, a little, little nice doodle. Uh, this is a text message that one of my friends sent me from back home or sent our whole friend group chat and then I had tea because I was getting sick again, lo and behold. More tea. This is Crazy Sexy Cool by Astro in Hangul. This is pressed flowers that I got from flowers I took and then this is just like a little thing, I don't really know. More tea because I'm sick, Panda Express. This is the lyrics to Butterfly by Astro, and yeah. And the last page is a Robert Frost poem, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Uh, I just copy down 
like the poem and kept it and did this little doodle. I have like random crap in this back pocket that I just have. This is from Chocolate Frog. Some photos, some stickers. So yeah, that's what's in here. But yes, that is the end of this journal. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.